Let's rip the Grand Slam Card Club baseball subscription box on Schultz's Card Bowl. What's up sports fans? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button if you enjoy card rips like this. I do a lot of subscription box rips, hobby box rips, retail rips, retail hunts, and the best giveaways for sports cards on YouTube. That's got to be the best part I've ever seen. Before I do that, wanted to highlight this. Got a really, really cool package from one of my subscribers. His name is Clad's Cards. That is his YouTube name, and he sent me this card. I really only uh, took, uh, he had some protective cardboard on it. Took that off uh, before I put it in the video, but I wanted to show everybody what he sent me and open it on video. Uh, Clad's card says, thank you so much. I would really love a shout out or two to my channel. Please put a link in my description. Absolutely will. Sounds like he's got a giveaway at 250 as well. Also, sweet CD Lamb gold out of 10 hit. That was awesome. That was a break that I bought into on Shy City Polls. Pulled the CD Lamb gold out of 10 from Mosaic Football. And that is a huge card. Lots of money there. Anyways, so Clad's card sending me this really, really cool. He said it was an Ichiro Base Stadium Chrome. Really appreciate that, man. What a cool looking card. So thank you so much to Clad's card sending me that. I'm definitely going to include his link in the description. Let's go check him out. Let's get down to business here. The Grand Slam Card Club subscription box. Really cool. You can pick this up at GrandSlamCardClub.com. Get out the right bread and the mustard this time. We got a nice baseball update series hobby pack that also a nice pack 2020 bowman hobby pack series one from 2018 gypsy queen 2020 a hobby pack of tops chrome we could pull a sweet auto out of that 2015 bowman and then we got a bowman draft picks and prospects hobby pack stadium club 2020 hobby pack that hasn't been so good to me this year let's hope we can pull an auto out of there Archives Baseball Hobby Pack. That one hasn't been very good to me either. And then we do have some guaranteed hits behind this 08 Elite Extra Edition Pack. Well, we're waiting. It says, first autograph cards of baseball's top draft picks, including first round picks from the 08 draft. 08 draft. I don't know if we could pull any big names in here. Let's see. All right, we got a Corey Wong, and then behind him, a Refractor Auto. It is Henry Gilbert, and don't really know that he did anything in the majors. So there's our auto, James Darnell, a Shane Patterson, and an Eric Bolak. So you get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Bowman Draft Picks and Prospects. That is a 2012 hobby pack. Let's see. If we can pull anything out of 2012 Bowman. Have never opened 2012 Bowman before, and it looks like we've got a die cut back there of some sort. And once again, this year, hard to read as well. We got a Mike Mudron or Mudron. We got a Yoannis Cespedes rookie card from Bowman. That's definitely worth setting aside. Kind of cool. A Brian Dozier rookie card behind that. That's also crazy. Here we got our chromes coming up. Bowman Chrome of Abe Ruiz, and we got a color behind him. We got a green. We're going to save that one for last. That is a sick pack of 2012 Bowman, that's for sure. Corel Prime, Austin Schatz, that Abe Ruiz, and it is the die cut green Marcus Stroman. And that is numbered out of 99. It is the parallel of Marcus Stroman. You know what? Since he's a name, obviously, pretty cool find. A die cut, Marcus Stroman out of 99 in a 2012 Bowman pack. I love it. Next, more Bowman 2015. This is pretty cool. I have not opened any of these older packs ever since I got back to the hobby. Really excited. Nice Evan Gaddis on the back there. And once again, another hard year to read. We got a Manny Machado, though. That's a pretty cool card right there. From 2015 to start off a Gregor Blanco and the first chrome it is a Chris Stratton and hard to read Austin Meadows there we go definitely some names in here Aaron Blair and we got a speckled or a snow I think that's called a speckled or a snow Matt shoemaker not numbered but a parallel nonetheless we're kind of hot with parallels and rookie cards in these packs a first Bowman 
of Tyler Deloach, if I can read that. And then another first Bowman behind him of Victor Reyes. Of Victor Reyes, Bowman Chrome, Anthony Rendon, and the Evan Gaddis we saw on the back. We couldn't do diddly poo. I might be partial to this subscription box because I did pull an auto and Anthony Volpe out of Bowman 2020 last month in the Grand Slam Card Club subscription box. So yeah, maybe I am a little partial to this box. Looks like we got like a mini in this. You know, uh, 2020 Gypsy Queen has not been kind to me. We got a Ravello. Would love to pull a Kyle Smith out of here. Have not seen a Kyle Smith rookie card in any of the Gypsy Queen packs that I have opened this year. A Baez rookie, a Ray, and then a Trey Mancini. So nothing much out of there, dang it. Why? 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 Next, 2018 Series 1. Uh, this is not update series, obviously, from 2018. You cannot get the highly sought-after Acuna or Juan Soto out of these packs, but still the chance, since it's a hobby pack, to pull something good nonetheless. And we got a Rafael Devers Cup card, a rookie cup. That's pretty cool. And there we go. One of the rookies that you can actually pull out of this pack, an Aussie Albies rookie. It's not the rookie debut. It is an actual Aussie Albies rookie card. Wah, wah, wah. We got an Alex Bregman, Boston Red Sox team card. That's going in the fire. Justin Smoke, former Mariner. Julio Arias, Gio Gonzalez, Aaron Judge, Tops Now card or something like that, Miguel Sano, Tyler Flowers, last but certainly not least, Todd Frazier in his Yankees uniform. Hell yeah! Let's see if we can keep the fire going from this Grand Slam Card Club subscription box here on Schultz's Card Pulls. Can we maybe get our first auto out of Tops Archive for 2020, please? <laughs> Garrett Cole. Eugenio Suarez, Jorge Soler, Shinsu Chu, Zach Grinke. Hey, there we go. A nice Justin Dunn color TV rookie parallel. Set that aside. Huge Mariners fan, if you have not gathered that on the channel. Nice old Duke Snyder there. The old style, of course. Vintage. So adorable. 2020 Stadium Club coming up. Don't think that I see anything thick as far as like an auto card goes, which sucks, but maybe... We can pull a Kalu rookie or something like that. Speaking of rookie, there's a Sheldon Noisy. Charlie Morton in the throwback Rays uniform for the Devil Rays. You got a Christian Yelich turned over. That's probably yeah, a red. You know, one thing I don't like about Stadium Club is they have those cards turned over, Josh Bell and Justin Turner, that really aren't anything special other than a red parallel. Those are so common in Stadium Club and it's just annoying they keep creating new ways to celebrate mediocrity i love me some 2020 chrome hobby's been good to me i pulled some decent cards out of 2020 chrome retail and hobby speaking of which a decent card and a Kino rookie on the front and then we got a kukuchi behind him and a francisco lindor prism uh dang too bad it wasn't a Luis Robert and then a Whit Merrifield behind him. I'm not impressed by your performance. We have this update series hobby pack from 2020. Don't think I see the hit of the hobby box in here. Another team card going to go in the fire. Andrew McCutcheon, Albert Pujols. We got an Edwin Encarnacion, a Cy Sneed rookie. Daniel Hudson, Tim Raines throwback. Kinsler, time to party, team card again. Taylor Ward and last, Donovan Solano. Damn it to hell. I, okay. It is all up to this 2020 Bowman Hobby Pack. Can we pull an auto? We do have a couple of guaranteed hits that we got to get to here at the end of the video, but I am still hunting for that Jason Dominguez, that ever so elusive Jason Dominguez auto that we are all looking for. And do I see something thick in there? Did we get lucky again? Um, no, I don't think so. I think that's just an insert. <laughs> All right, let's go through and see what we got. Nick Solak, a Dubon. A nice talent pipeline insert. Wander Franco on that card. Mana, Jordan Adams, Nate Pearson, Nolan Gorman, Jordan Adams, Albert Azale, and Isan Diaz. <laughs> Our guaranteed hits now. A CJ Edwards, Bowman Platinum. And then we got a Danny Santana, like a donut blue parallel. That is numbered, I believe, at a, like 150 or 199. And behind that, a nice Panini Select patch of Logan Webb. 
Check that out. Not a napkin either. Always nice when you got some kind of color, even if it's gray on there. Thank you so much for watching. Go to the Grand Slam Card Club to pick this up, grandslamcardclub.com. And click on the playlist on the screen right now. It's every single subscription box rip that I've ever done so far on Schultz's Card Pulls.